we previously showed that the cosine of 15 degrees is equal to the square root of 6 plus the square root of 2 over 4. Now we'll show another way to obtain that. Note that 15 degrees is equal to 45 degrees minus 30 degrees, so we need to calculate the cosine of 45 degrees minus 30 degrees, and in order to do that, we'll derive the formula for the cosine of alpha minus beta. Now, for any angle theta, the sine of theta is equal to the cosine of 90 degrees minus theta, and the cosine of theta is equal to the sine of 90 degrees minus theta. That means that the cosine of alpha minus beta is equal to the sine of 90 degrees minus alpha minus beta, and that is equal to the sine of 90 degrees minus alpha plus beta, and we can put 90 degrees minus alpha in parentheses. But we know the formula for this from previous video, so this is equal to the sine of 90 degrees minus alpha times the cosine of beta plus the cosine of 90 degrees minus alpha times the sine of beta. And what are the sine and the cosine of 90 degrees minus alpha? Well, the sine of 90 degrees minus alpha is equal to the cosine of alpha. So this is equal to the cosine of alpha times the cosine of beta. And the cosine of 90 degrees minus alpha is equal to the sine of alpha. So this is equal to the sine of alpha times the sine of beta. If we go back to the cosine of 15 degrees, which is equal to the cosine of 45 degrees minus 30 degrees, we get that that is equal to the cosine of 45 degrees times the cosine of 30 degrees plus the sine of 45 degrees times the sine of 30 degrees. But that is equal to the square root of 2 over 2 times the square root of 3 over 2 plus the square root of 2 over 2 times 1 over 2 and that is equal to the square root of 6 plus the square root of 2 over 4. We started by recalling what is the cosine of 15 degrees. However, if we don't know that, we can use that 15 degrees is equal to 45 degrees minus 30 degrees, which was the motivation to obtain the formula for the cosine of alpha minus beta. Then we said that the cosine of alpha minus beta is equal to the sine of 90 degrees minus alpha minus beta, which is equal to the sine of 90 degrees minus alpha plus beta. So we used the formula for the sine of the sum of two angles from the previous video, which gave us the formula for the cosine of alpha minus beta. Finally, by putting 45 degrees and 30 degrees into that formula, we got that the cosine of 15 degrees is equal to the square root of 6 plus the square root of 2 over 4. With that in mind, I leave you with this question. Are there angles alpha and beta such that the sine of alpha times the sine of beta plus the cosine of alpha times the cosine of beta is equal to the square root of 2? That is all for this video. If you liked it, click the like button. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you next time.